Today we're talking shoulder blade pain, my top three exercises to get rid of that. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Colby Smith, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Today we're talking about scapular dynamics. What that is, very briefly, is the way that your shoulder blades move. These exercises focus on three muscle groups, the serratus anterior, the lower trap, and the upper trap. Those three muscles are supposed to work really well together when you reach overhead. And a lot of people, the upper trap is very dominant, and the other two aren't doing a very great job, which does some funky things to the shoulder blade. So if we can get them activated in the right way, then things can start moving a lot better. This first exercise is called a serratus wall slide. So we're really targeting that serratus anterior. The muscle attaches on the front side of your shoulder blade and it wraps around and attaches to your ribs here. If the serratus anterior doesn't activate well, it can wing and pop out from there. So this exercise really targets that. We're up against a wall, this first part is the trickiest one for people. We're trying to protract the scapula on a stable base. That protraction is that reaching forward motion on the shoulder blade. The serratus anterior really helps in doing that. Now because you're against a wall, you can't press forward, so it has to come from the other side. So you're here and you're pressing forward and because of that, your back is coming out that way. From there, you're holding this and you're sliding your hand up and a little bit across and then down and you are still pressing into the wall but still staying protracted. If you're doing this right, you should feel muscles right around here really kicking in. This exercise is great for scapular dynamics because it's allowing that shoulder blade to do what it needs. I would do about 10 to 15 reps on each side of this, regardless of which side the shoulder blade pain is on. This next exercise, we're gonna really address the lower trap as we work on our scapular dynamics. You may have seen this exercise before on my channel, that's because it's a great one and I give it out often. You'll need a dowel rod or a broomstick or something like that if you're at home. Here's what you're gonna do. Palm up, hold it here, other side palm down, you're reaching up in this motion as if you're gonna be in a Y position, but with one hand. All the work is coming from your right arm for a large portion of the exercise. Then you'll add on some extra work at the end with this hand. So you're reaching up into that Y position as far as this shoulder can go. When you feel like you've hit your end range, I want you to take this hand and push it a little bit further. But this is not a stretch, this is an activation. So that whole time, even when you're pressing with the left hand, this right arm is actively trying to pull back and squeeze between your shoulder blades. I'll tell people this needs to be a shoulder blade first exercise, meaning when you're doing this, don't think about pulling from here. Think about pulling from here. What a lot of people do is they pull from their upper shoulder, that upper trap area. That muscle is usually dominant and overactive in these kinds of populations that have pain here. To get away from that, I want you to think about keeping your shoulder away from your ear the entire exercise. That's going to help you focus on letting that area calm down and letting the other areas do the work. Okay, for the last exercise, we're going to tie it all together. You can use a band, cables, or dumbbells. You're going to anchor the band with your feet. If you're using cables, just set up the machine so that they're crossed. If you're using dumbbells, just hold them in your hands. What we're doing is shoulder scaption, which is basically shoulder raises, but in a Y position rather than straight forward or straight out to the side. So here's what we're doing. We're gonna raise up to the top, hold at the very top for five seconds, and then slow on the way down. I'm talking five to eight seconds all the way down. Good. So we've got a normal concentric phase, five second isometric, which increases fiber recruitment, and then a slow eccentric phase, which increases that muscle tissue and tendon strength to get those working really well. We'll do 10 to 15 reps of this, and I'm gonna show you the angle from the back without my shirt again, so you can see the exact way that I want your shoulder blades to be moving during this exercise. You're raising up, letting those shoulder blades come up, out, and across, not shrugging, holding five seconds, and then slowly controlling it on the way down like this. Everything right around this entire region of that upper back and shoulder blade area is fired up and moving. And there you have it. That's my top three exercises for scapular dynamics. If you're dealing with shoulder blade pain, I would do these exercises one to two times a day for about two weeks to see if that clears it up. If that doesn't work, then there might be something else that's causing that pain, not scapular dynamics. I have a video that I'm gonna link here at the end on how to see where that pain between your shoulder blades is coming from. 